favorite thing to do every single day is to check in with Sam Rubin. Just to say, like, hey, what's going on? What do you need to know? Sam gave me the best award season advice ever. Yeah. He says it's not about winning. It's about getting the nomination. And when you take that into perspective, I really do think of people are just looking at it wrong. It's all about the Absolutely. nomination. Absolutely. all about the nomination. Now, we do know one of his favorite traditions <laughs> is our two. Waking up with waking up with Sam Rubin in the morning, and there's nothing better. You've got your PJs on, your glasses. How'd you sleep, honey? I, I can't. You know what? This is the funniest thing. Uh, very devoted to morning news viewers. Good morning to you guys. And that phrase is the nomination is the win. Um, Rick and Jeannie from Agora. I guess they have a mattress company uh, called Snuggle Peter, and they sent a mattress to be set up in the room so I would be comfortable. <laughs> And so, oh. Sam, can you fit on that mattress? You that. Is that crazy? Yeah, you sleep on it. It's a, it's a and how'd you sleep? Was it comfy? Aww. It was extremely it. comfortable. I slept really, really well. So that was a, but I just thought that was such a, a thoughtful thing to do. And then the thing that I love behind me is uh, this electronic frame where I've uh, posed uh, red carpet photos and photos of Jessica and I. Uh, oh, that's cool. I think it's hilarious because it just changes. Isn't that funny? That's really cool. So anyway. Um, Shall we talk about the Oscars? Let's uh, discuss that a little bit, and then we're going to be with you throughout the course of the morning. Lots more surprises here at the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel, which is just steps away from where the red carpet is, where everything is taking place. The big thing, I think, is, is this key question. What film wins Best Picture? If you talk to kind of everybody, they say Roma because of this extraordinary campaign. The uh, published estimates are 60 million, this is 30 million. Some say as high as 60 million. That Roma is the shoe in for Best Picture, uh, ten nominations total, uh, tied by the favorite. So does that happen? And then people are like, "Wait a minute, did Netflix buy the award, or is does it deserve it on its merits?" And if not Roma, then what movie? I think you would have an enormous eruption if Black Panther was named Best Picture. Black Panther winning that key SAG award ensemble cast, the largest voting body of Oscar members are the people who were in. Um, uh, the actors branch is more actors than anybody else in the movie making business or want to be actors. So I think Black Panther sort of has a bit of a chance. When we do our live red carpet show starting at 1 o'clock, Tom O'Neill, uh, the award, the Oscarologist from GoldDerby.com, he'll be here and he has very uh, specific thoughts on how that's going to go. But between now and then, uh, you know, <laughs> it's the good nights, uh, stews, uh, you know, I can't do any of the uh, twists and pretzel stuff that uh, Liberty and the uh, and Danny can do, but uh, you know I, we'll, we'll get we'll get together and uh, sort it all out. And then oh, we we're coming to the stretch. I guess I have to do it. Yeah, do, you, hey, do you mind? Uh, do, do, do you, you mind like, announcing it for us, yeah. Sam? No, no. We just need you to announce it. Okay, I know. I'd be very happy. Okay. Did you tell me what to, is it? The, you just say time it's time for the eight thirty eight stretch. But you, uh, give it your give okay, it your your it, flair. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Oh. 
Sam, Sam, would you agree the glasses you're wearing? You're a newspaper you're, reporter in those. Uh huh. The, the current glasses that you're wearing, that, that's very like Green Book esque. Would, wouldn't you True. say? Like that, that time yes. period? I like that. You know, in a weird, in a, in a, in a weird, in a weird way, it could be a salute to Green Book. Yeah. But, but it's very funny. You know, we have uh, Lord Zarian, uh, our fashion expert, will join us tomorrow morning with a recap. I, he's like, Sam, you have psychological issues regarding your glasses. <laughs> and I do, because I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to be boxed into it. Right, so, right. So, I mean, I would wear one, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm very Every torn. hour since so you're four. Yeah, so I, I, like I, like I, like I like the one that, I like the one that's a little heavier. Like, a, yeah. like I feel like you should just own it. Okay, hang on. I, I think right. it's those ones. The one Let me see. Yeah, I think you're very I think handsome. Right. That's I think like, just, I like very or handsome. You look one. like, or the third one. Yeah, I, actually, the truth is, Sam, they all look pretty good. But what about? But yeah, what, you what, like what about guess. just me as me? You can do it at any one of them because it's just you, and the glasses are, you know, irrelevant. Right. And, and, it's you. And Sam, finally, uh, we, we asked this question yeah. yesterday. Yeah. We were told that uh, Megan and Jessica have some really, really nice numbers that they're wearing. One involves feathers. Yes. yes. In fact, thank goodness I'm not allergic, is all I can say. <laughs> I'll admit it to that draft. Uh, I, because I, don't, I have no idea if they're hypoallergenic or not. But, uh, they, you uh, might need some Benadryl. In a weird way. I, no, I was like, is one of our sponsors like uh, Foster's Farms or something? <laughs> because it was a lot of Fantastic. Well, thank you for introducing our stretch. You are very flexible. We're very impressed. Okay. That, but the I, legs above the head. I that so yeah, we're very impressed. Thank you. We'll be thank checking you. in with you later. Are you going to get dressed for us? Or are you, you going to stay right. cat? Well, we have something. We're the. I mean, again, we're live till noon. So in the ten and eleven o'clock hours, we'll be with the whole team mm -hmm. in the makeup room. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, great. Oh. But uh, I but like like next uh, when we come back, we'll talk. We'll talk tuxedos, accessories, and uh, <laughs> how to get this body into the tuxedo. <laughs> we so, can't we'll wait. All right. Thank uh, you so much, Sam uh, Rubin. We love you. <laughs> All right. Whatever you do. Most closely guarded Oscar morning secrets is out this morning. To start Hollywood's biggest day, the color of Sam Rubin's pajamas are red. <laughs> we want you to know. Um, but we should tell people, Sam, I sent you a picture just a minute ago. And I'm going to pull it up for everybody else so they can see it. Our viewers love you, Sam Rubin. Um, is it on? Can you guys see this? And they're, they're, they're and Look at these you. two little puppies. Aww. They're in love with Aww. you. Aww. Absolutely. This is Lola and Mona, and they're in Studio City, and you have captivated them. <laughs> I am not. I am not trying. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm particularly popular with the canine community. <laughs> so, yes. Sam. Sam. Welcome uh, to the. Yes, sir. Go uh, ahead. Did you get a visit from the hair fairy? It's a very. Uh, How did you yeah, know? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. my hair, Jessica's. Jessica's hair is like an eleven-step process. My hair is a two-step process. So between the last report and this one, the shampooing has happened. Oh. And. Was, it, was there a drop of color in that shampoo? It's entirely possible. <laughs> JR is a wizard. Sure. All right, we have many things. We have many things to go over. So thing number one, and this is just elevator gossip. There's somebody performing on the show named Dennis. Is it Dennis Quaid? Dennis Miller? Dennis Leary? I'm not sure. But there is a Dennis who apparently was quite hilarious in rehearsal yesterday. That's item number one. Item number two, who's going to win Best Actress? Glenn Close is the obvious uh, frontrunner. Uh, seventh nomination, uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. It could work out well for her. For the wife, the wife, though, not widely seen. Glenn, I think, respected and revered an incredible speech at the Golden Globes. That does not hurt. But, of course, Lady Gaga, first time out. And what an extraordinary performance. The superstar singer who always wanted to be an actress demonstrates that, boy, she really is an actress. So uh, at Critics' Choice Awards, you might recall, they tied, they both won, and that was an extraordinary moment. So that best actor, actress weight race is one to really watch. Back to fashion and your guys' involvement, very, very important. Here is the blue tuxedo, but please oh, select the tie. Hmm. Okay, you want to go, I love it. Do you want to go blue and black, hmm. or do you want to go just black? Hmm. Oh, oh, I like, like blue. I like blue, too. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay. I like the right. black. I like the black too. Yeah. I like the black. Because it's not too. solid black, right? See? There's a, there's a some texture to it. Yeah. There's I, a there's a there's a sort of stripe to it. I don't know. What anyway, does your heart say to you? <laughs> no, Sam. No, Sam. What does your heart say? 
Sam, can I, give, can I give you a little tip? I don't know. So the experts on social media tell me that if you put that up on your story yes. and you provide a poll which tie I should use, apparently Facebook will increase your... Your, your reach to people. That's true. Oh, okay. I would do that so then you get more Instagram followers, right. you get the real opinion of what people think, and everyone wins. I'm voting now. I think you should ask your wife. <laughs> <laughs> because that's really the only poll that counts. Did she, did, did she pick out your pajamas this year? <laughs> Any questions? She, Sorry, she, she brought these for me. Go ahead. Oh, she got, she bought okay, these got several things. One, one, the one thing that we're doing is a countdown clock so you can see how close we are to the actual ceremony. Really great Swiss, Swiss, Swiss watchmaker Francois <laughs> Bourget is our sponsor. Wow. And look at these watches because you oh. know what? Hang on. This is not what I want to see right now. <laughs> we are we That's are awesome. giving we are giving away these we do you like it? Oh I love it. We are giving away these watches. Uh, they're beautiful, beautiful watches. So thanks to Francois Bourget. We're giving them away on the morning news after the Oscars. But Jessica and I will be wearing those. And then the most important thing. <laughs> How do you get this body in shape? Um, I am my personal it? trainer. Oh. Oh. Andrew, oh. Andrew Marsalis has been here. That's great. Hello. So say hello to Mark. So here's the thing. Hello, Mark. Not, not only has she been, not only has she been whipping me into shape, but you were suggesting, because Jessica and I are going to stand there for five hours. So what do we need to do? This is what I was thinking about you today, and this is actually, everybody can use this piece of advice. You are going to stand there forever and ever, and no matter how, you never have a back issue, but my God, standing there, everybody feels their back. So I'm going to give you three things you can do to relieve your back. You're going to want to stretch it. Do not do that. Okay. Don't do that. Activate your back right. muscles, okay. and you'll feel better. Okay. So the first thing you can do is like that mountain pose we do from yoga. Okay. But we're going to do it on the one hand in front of the other, and then press your hips forward and try to make your spine as long and as tall as you possibly can when you do that. And then that will activate these muscles, and when you let it go, it will help them release. You want to do that three or four times. You know what? Before we get to the tips, one thing I just want to show you guys the 838 stretch. Go ahead. This is, here we go. Andrew has an app, by the way. It's called And Life, A N V Life. It has workouts, diet plans, everything you need. But this is. 10 minute workout that you have to do on your own today and just don't tell her. Here, here comes the stretch though. I think you guys will be excited. Ready? What does it do? All right. And then the prep, do the pretzel thing. All right. Okay. There we are. Our Oscar coverage all the way uh, starting live at 1 o'clock. Thank you for that. The morning news on the Sunday jumps back in the makeup room next hour. The intensity of Oscar morning is only increasing. Sam Rubin transitioning from his hotel room to more appropriately the makeup room. Sam, let's see what he looks like. Getting all glammed up with JR. All right. Oh, that is so hilarious. Here's the false depiction as to what's happening here. Uh, and a, a pleasure to be uh, joined by you all. The suggestion that I have my own hair and make a person, and Jessica and Megan are doing it by themselves, <laughs> which, is not, which is not true. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the size of our room has uh, shrunk dramatically, but we are all here uh, getting ready. And Doug is uh, triumphantly just walked in. Doug so it's very happy to... You see, Doug rolls out of bed handsome like that. He does not have all the requirements uh, that I do. Good news is we're preparing for our live Oscar show at uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, the snacks, Doug, are excellent. So uh, they have curated, you know, sort of chocolate pick-me-ups. And I think new for 2019, Chunky Chips Ahoy. Uh, so we're happy about that as well. Uh, in any event, a couple of... Yeah, yeah, you gotta have some cookies. Couple things. We're gonna show you what it looked like last year, and that's why they're so involved. We don't uh, roll out of bed looking handsome like Doug, but uh, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of tradition involved. We will be all on the carpet uh, starting at 12 o'clock. The live coverage beginning uh, at one, but it, there's a, you know, a lot of preparation involved. And then one uh, new story this morning, which is very interesting. And you know, again, people are like, should it be a political evening? Should it not be a political evening? And to that end, Alfonso Cuarón who I think is the uh, presumptive winner for uh, Best Director for his work with Roma and may or may not take home a Best Picture Oscar for Roma as well. He is going to be accompanied by representatives of some sort of, I'll describe it as a domestic workers union uh, that it, it represents uh, domestic workers both in America and Mexico. Obviously, the title character in Roma is a domestic worker in Mexico, so it'll be interesting to hear what those people have to talk about. And then, on the funny side, uh, besides everything happening here, uh, among the presenters 
Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. And what we were told from people who were at the rehearsals yesterday is they were particularly hilarious. A lot of people were saying, she with no hosts, they should be the hosts. Uh, but their bit, uh, we understand, is really quite a riot. So anyway, that's all we have for now. Jessica, very happy that Kelly has brought a new bronzer that agrees with her completely. Or is that is your, true about that? And then Jessica and Megan were kind of reviewing and criticizing the last, last live shot and thought the yoga lady was inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the, here, all I know is I looked at the TV and there, there's a woman, you know, doing back bends. <laughs> I know, right? So, so, Sam, you need to tell Jessica that we were wondering yeah. why you were telling your trainer what to do versus your trainer telling you what to do. Right. Yeah, that's true. That, 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 which explains all my success uh, with trainers. Dana, we're doing a little, uh, a little over-under. If you were in this room with us getting ready, and that would be our preference, and uh, you'll, you'll join the team, I feel you'd be very free-spirited, and it wouldn't matter if you were dressed or not. That's me? what I'm saying, but Jessica says you're more modest than that. You, you hey, yeah, grab, hey, right? hey, <laughs> hey, Sam. Sam, I don't know if you saw this earlier, but Wendy Birch tracked down Richard Wilkins on the red carpet. He hosts... Oh, my gosh, Dickie. D Dickie, oh, and I was—I was, I was the main guy. He was the main guy. We we asked him about you, but if you could talk right. about him and just how big he is in the land down under, because you broadcast to Australia. Uh, well, a a he's physically big. Richard Wilkins is, is yeah. a giant of a man. He's well over six feet, and his hair has another foot. <laughs> yeah. And he's hu hugely popular. He's yeah. he is the Nicole Kidman always greets him with a kiss. He's very well regarded there. Oh, did we say hi to Jr. Hair God? We have to say hi to Jr. The Hair God. <laughs> hey God yeah. Hi, yeah. Jr. Sometimes you guys, you may not, you may not know this, but um, I'll go to Jr.'s uh, fabulous uh, salon near the ArcLight, and I'll see um, Lynette uh, will be there, or Lynette and her mom will be there. It's always fun. <laughs> I know it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. In fact, I've been trying to get in to see him, yeah. and he hasn't had time for me. <laughs> no, you can, never, you can never get an appointment. That's the only, the only reason people are like. You know, like, Sam, you've done this for a thousand years. Isn't it time to give it up? And it's like, I would, except I can't get my hair done any other way because you can't get an appointment. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sam. You look fabulous. We can't wait to see the girls. All right. All right. See ya. They already look gorgeous. Oh, they look great. Jessica in a t-shirt, right? She's a white t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. And, and did you, where, what happened to Megan? Megan. <laughs> Megan. Or, she was, she was well, Megan's not ready to get on camera. Megan's yeah. not ready to get on camera. So <laughs> like, no, no. Well, let me just ask you, would you do, would you do that? Would you come in without your hair all messed up? I'll and... take it off right now if you want. The, the makeup. Okay. <laughs> 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 the <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We're still, we're still in the book. Yeah. We're still in the book. We'll take off his hair later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be fine. <laughs> Sunday is done. Sam Rubin is in the makeup room <laughs> or in his hotel room getting his makeup done, his hair done. He's picked his tuxedo, his you tie. Know, this, 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 this happens at KTLA sometimes where the makeup room is uh, a rip. Doug Coke just dropped a Sam is like uh, Doug Coke. Sam is Doug Coke just dropped brought? a secret. <laughs> so it was so startling. I, it's not mine to share, but it has. Uh, I don't want to share it. Do you want me to? Do you want me to say it or do you want all right, go look at Doug for a second. <laughs> Handsome as a man can be, and according to Hair God Jr., uh, Doug has the best hair of anyone in the room, which I think Megan takes umbrage to. But anyway, but apparently, well, no, Doug, on a monthly basis, how often do you shampoo your hair? <laughs> once a month? Bruce, once a month? What? Once a month? Why? <laughs> Uh, and Nick, you brought up two names that I think are of, of primary interest. 
What an award season for Regina King, and the best yeah. example of the nomination is the win. Thank correct, you. correct. And, you know, I think it's probably 99.9% .9 sure that she's going to get an Academy Award. So watch out for what she's going to wear. She's been wearing a lot of jewel tone colors. I love the Versace that she wore for the Baptist. So once you're in Versace, you never go back. <laughs> and you know what? For, for her, there is this gratitude about her. that yeah. she, She's a, a fabulous winner. Obviously, the big gasp on the carpet is, does Lady Gaga arrive in an egg? Does she you know, <laughs> arrive in a train? What happened? Well, I think that she is going to go glam. I would love to see a moment. You know, like what she did for the Golden Globes, the Valentino periwinkle gown. My goodness. I want to see a fashion red carpet moment. So, all right, there we go. Nick will be joining uh, Doug and Megan and Jessica and myself. Uh, there is a, a, a concern here that I think Doug's hair might be washed between now and one o'clock. Uh, is, is the thought? Don't be so sure. It's changed. It's changed everything. Um, that's the deal. Uh, Anya, of course, has her uh, wonderful style special. Before that, special episode of California Cooking, all about the Oscars. So KTLA with you throughout the course of the entire day and in the evening as well. Uh, our news uh, broadcasts start live at five o'clock all the way through the evening. So we are covering this like a blanket. Uh, and uh, other stuff. But in the meantime, if there's any questions or concerns, <laughs> I have several myself. So we'll go back to you guys. Uh, we just want to know, know, Sam, what tie did you decide? Did you decide the black or the blue? Okay, where did Nick go again? Um, Nick, you were very insistent about the color of the tie, the, the blue versus the black. Yes, I'm very insistent on the black because it just takes it up a notch. It's more elegant, more tuxedo-like. I agree. It is. So I agree. some have suggested if it's blue pants, it should be a blue tie. But I will uh, I will acquiesce to Nick as I have throughout the course of the whole process. <laughs> now, Sam, uh, I, I know Megan is, is very yeah. strict about when and when she doesn't appear on camera. Can we hear from Megan, or is she right. still getting ready? <laughs> Megan, Mark Messer wants to know if we can hear from you. <laughs> but we don't have to. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That's all you get. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Sammy. And I'm really glad that Doug washed his hair. You know, it's a special occasion. Hey, how are you? Look, everybody, everybody's coming in. You've got more guests. I love that, that earlier Sam showed us the, the whole thing of chocolate, the Chips Ahoy, and now what did he have? A, hot a brownie brown sundae. sundae. I think they need some protein, though. I think you know what? Have... I should drop him off a Beyond Burger. The Beyond Burger. Burger. I'm yeah. bringing Beyond Burgers for everyone. Even crew, everyone. 